we've got a brand new sliding head laid here from Dugard. How, how long has the machine been uh, been about? Uh, that's right, Paul. It was released in Timtos in Taiwan earlier this year. It's made its debut in Europe in uh, Emo, and now it's come on to the UK for our open house. I think the first point I want to mention is the 52 mil bar. I mean, tell us about that. Tell us about the size of bar that you can actually do and how that configures. Okay, um, well, really, you need to go back a bit. We've been selling a 32 mil capacity machine for many years now, very successfully. There's several hundred now working in the UK. That's uh, a 32 mil machine without a guy bush. So it's quite an unusual capacity, but it doesn't allow you to use simple bar uh, and not have a very long bar in wastage every time on the um, operation. So the manufacturers felt, where could they go from there? And they thought, well, we'll move to a bigger capacity machine rather than go and fight everybody head on in the 16, 20 mil capacity machines. You must be one of the first to explore this sort of size, really. I haven't seen many other machines of this size. No, it's probably a risk. We sat down with the manufacturers and talked about the opportunities. And uh, obviously, we spoke to a few customers. But it's going to be a risk and see how it um, takes off, because it's quite a departure. We've been here today at your event, and it has been attra attracting a lot of attention. Um, it's got a lot of tools in there as well, isn't it? I mean, we've got total flexibility. Yeah, you've got a lot of se selection of tools and options of changing the tooling configuration, which gives you, as you say, a lot of flexibility. But the nice part is that it can be run as a guide bush machine, which gives you 42 mil capacity as a sliding head. Or if you want to take the Swiss aspect out of it, you can take the guide bush out and get 51 millimetre bar capacity on there. So this is, I'm identifying this machine then as a very good in-between machine. You know, you've got, you got sort of twin turret, fixed head, two-inch bar machines, and then you've got 32 mil sliding heads. This kind of sits right in between them, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess that's a good description, really. It sort of it bridges the gap between the conventional CNC lay with a bar feed from a Swiss type, which is obviously an ultra-high production machine. And when, when, when you start going for the fixed head technology, we'd normally associate those machines with a little bit more power, maybe a little bit uh, yeah, more rigidity. Has this got that as well? Uh, it's quite, rigid, uh, quite a rigid machine. It's got built-in spindles, which is, gives you a lot of um, uh, power in terms of ack and deck, and um, I think it's 11 kilowatt on the spindle. So we, we've got quite a lot of spindle power there. Obviously, it's a bit lighter on the milling aspect. But would you know how many milling tools you can have on the front and back here? I haven't counted up, but I would guess you're looking at about a dozen milling tools there. Now, what about the control on this machine, Eric? Is it available just with the Mitsubishi that we've got here, or can you have other controls too? Now, FANUC is available as an option, but we're really pushing the Mitsubishi aspect of it because it's been developed for this machine. It's dual channel, so you can program the main spindle and the sub spindle independently and then integrate it into the program. It's very simply uh, to be used for that sort of application. Now, one of the things you mentioned to me earlier was about your success in this sliding head market. It's a pretty tough nut to crack, isn't it? Because we, we, all, we all know the familiar names that are involved in that. You know, how have you had success and, 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 where, and where's this one going to fit in amongst that? I think this is going to follow on with our existing user base. Obviously, we're going to target them straight away. But the main success we've had with the, the non guide bush machine is that it, it fits into the area where you don't really need sliding head technology for small parts maybe um, three times diameter, whereas you normally can get very long thin parts on a, a sliding head. So we can come in with a machine that give all, gives all the speed and production capability, but it's a fraction of the cost. Well, let's say probably 50% of the cost well, of our competitors. Well, well, this is the thing, because you're not afraid to talk about price. And I think one of the things that is attractive about the Dugard option is two things. One, you like to bring in machines that are slightly different, and you like to fit machines into what customers need. But you also are very conscious of the fact that there's a price point, aren't you? Well, I think so. I mean, we've got to differentiate ourselves from the competition, and uh, we're trying to give the customer quality machines with some high production capability, but also that a price that will be attractive to them because uh, in, when you're in a subcontract market, you know, it, price per part is very, very important. Over the course of the next year, what, what would you be happy with as the managing director in terms of sales of something like this? I think in 2018, if we could sell 30 machines in the UK, I'd be very happy with that, to be honest with you. I mean, we're bringing it as a complete package. It's got uh, hydrostatic bar feed included in the, in the deal. 